It's one of the largest freshwater fish migrations on our planet, but it's rarely been witnessed by humans. Okay, I am descending now. This is the first ever footage captured of lake whitefish spawning within the Great Lakes. We're out here looking for spawning whitefish. A remarkable accomplishment for the filmmakers of the All Too Clear documentary series, but this was not an easy task. Whitefish spawn in late November, early December. And so, you know, the weather is not great to be on the Great Lakes during that time. And I got the nice warm cabin in here. So we're out there late at night. It took us about 20 days of filming to try and capture this spawning activity. Oh, this one's coming to say hi. This isn't just a win for this production team. It's an accomplishment for scientists and communities that are impacted by the ever-changing Great Lakes ecosystem. We wanted to make a documentary that showed people this tremendous change that was happening out in the Great Lakes that not many people knew about. This big change involved the collapse of the lake whitefish. And so this is a very important fish species to commercial fishers in the upper Great Lakes and to many indigenous communities as well. A, a lot of fish science deals with, you know, um, fish being caught in nets and studying them after they've died. So what we're able to do is show fish in their natural environment, living their lives. This going nice and slow, I don't want to upset them. We wanted to film them spawning because if we could film their spawning behavior, that's a key for scientists to be able to understand them a lot better so maybe we can help them. We all got big school of whitefish. And it's so crazy how they were nowhere else, but they really love this mound. 